What's going on YouTube, Bert here, and in today's video, we are going over my current in-game PvP build. I'll be showing you my base stats, legendary perks, regular perks, the weapons I'm using, the weapon types you should be using, and I'll be going over my armor for you. Now before we get into the video, make sure you smash that like button, that way the Fault 76 community can see this, and subscribe for more Fault 76 content. Let's get into it. These are my base stats before we get into the full build. These are how they look without the legendary perks. The plain Jane ones, so if you're going into this build, this is how you would want them to look like. Now for all the mutations I have, this one isn't necessarily restricted to this build. This is just all my mutations in general to see if you're curious on what I have, but I do have a ton. You don't need all of these, but these are mine, guys. In the legendary perks, I have strength maxed out, follow through maxed out, and this one is mostly for sneaking around and PvE. I have intelligence maxed out, luck maxed out, endurance almost maxed out, and taking one for the team almost maxed out. I definitely need to get these two to maximize my build, but they're a work in progress. This one is going to be very interesting because I definitely want to see how well it works while on a team because more damage is absolutely amazing. But now onto the normal perks. So over in the normal perks we have 9 in strength and that is so I can carry everything, but I do have 1 in blocker just in case. Then over in Perception we have that maxed out because this is a Commando PvP build. So I want to make sure I have all my Commando perks. And then I got Tank Killer maxed out because your rifles and pistols ignore 36% of armor and have a 9% chance of stagger. This is a must have card whether you're doing PvE or PvP. I also had Concentrated Fire because I do use a gun in VATS while doing PvP and it works amazing. I do like to target heads so this is a must. Then we have Endurance. I do want to boost this up to 10 eventually, but right now it's at a 9. And I do have Life Giver. Gain a total of 45 to your maximum health. This is absolutely amazing. And the more health, the better in PvP, in my opinion. We have Adminium Skeleton. And this is going to reduce the chances of me getting limb damage or staggered. And once I have it maxed out, uh, it's going to be absolutely insane. I'm a Sentinel Assassin's build, so I definitely do not want to be getting staggered. Now we have Fireproof. And Fireproof is almost a must in PvP because people are using explosives, legacies, or explosive guns in general. So, and what this does is it takes 45% less damage from explosions or flame attacks. So this is a must card, guys. I recommend it, I highly recommend it. Over in Charisma, we have Tenderizer. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds. So when I'm fighting, I definitely just want to get it over with. I don't want to toy around with him, don't want to waste my stim pack, so. The more damage, the better. Now, intelligence is the only one you really need is first aid because we want as much health as we can get. And what this does, it gives us 45% more than usual when we use our stim pack. I definitely love it. And what else I have in here is demolition, but I'm not using any explosive weapons, so it doesn't matter. But I do need help carrying some ammo, so I definitely have this. This is a must if you carry a ton of fusion cores, fusion cells, anything, guys. I love this card. Over in agility, we have Action Boy because in this build, our AP is what is going to be saving our butt. That's all I gotta say. So I have AP refresh on my armor, and then on this I have Action Boy, which Action Boy regenerates 40% faster action points do. This is a absolute must. And then we have Born Survivor. This works in Serenity with First Aid. And especially, so if I fall below 40% health and it shoots up with it maxed out, it already shoots my health up like a ton. But as soon as it starts going up, I use first aid and boom, max health. And it's just, it's insane. Y'all have to test it out. They are amazing together. Then we have adrenaline that is definitely gain plus 10%, maximum 60% damage for 30 Per, or for 30 seconds per kill duration refreshes after kills this is more or less if i'm fighting multiple people it gives me that chance to be even more stronger but one-on-one -on -one, it's not going to do that much but it definitely helps out then we have dodgy avoid 30 percent of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points this is why we need action points guys an action point refresh an action boy because the higher the ap the longer we're surviving now over in luck we do want bloody mess maxed out, that way we do as much damage as we can possible throughout our guns, and this gives us a 15% bonus to our damage. We have Grim Reaper's Sprint, and this, is, this isn't necessarily, but again, I do use VATS, so any kills in VATS has a 35% chance to restore all action points. 
Again, another Vats one, not necessarily, but Vats crits. Vats crits now do plus 40% damage. Pretty good, pretty good, but not the not PvP. You don't necessarily need that. Now I do have Serpendipity, and I do recommend this one. This is a big one I recommend. While below 30% health, gain 40%, 45% chance to avoid damage. So when you're getting just smacked with the legacy and this kicks in, oh, you have a chance to survive. Between this, Born Survivor, and your first aid, you will be golden. And the other two are just related to my mutations. So yeah, these are my normal perks. Get a good look at them. And now let's get into the armor. And the armor I use is my Heavy Leather Sentinel Assassins, guys. And the reason I choose leather is because it has the highest energy resistance out of all the armors. So when you have it all put together, uh, it's absolutely insane. And it works amazing against people using Legacies or Teslas. But what is this Sentinel effect? And that is the 75% chance to reduce damage by 15% while standing still. And then the Assassin's effect is the 75% chance to reduce damage by 8% from players. Now the third star is increased action point refresh. You definitely don't need that, but it's very, very helpful because action points is what keeps you alive. Now I do have a full set of this, they're all matching. And this is my PVP gear. I will say I do run sometimes with a jetpack instead of the main chest. And this is my sneaking one that way if I'm, because I don't normally use stealth boys, sadly. I know it's the meta. The meta is using stealth boys and spamming quantums. That's what people do. They spam both of them. So I don't usually do that. I don't have a ton of stealth boys on me. So if that starts happening, I will throw this on and I basically get to blend in with the environment. Super awesome. And it still has that sentinel effect on it. Starting off with the anti-armor plasma rifle. This rifle has a 25% faster fire rate, 25% less VATS action points cost, and it has the ignore 50% of your target's armor. So when you're doing PvP, yes you can use buddied, yes you can use junkies, yes you can do whatever, but you definitely want to get you some anti-armor weapons. It's the best of the best whenever you're going for PvP. So I'm going to be testing out with this one. We have the anti-armor crusader. 50% faster reload, 33% VATS hit chance, and ignores 50% of your armor's target. Now this one, I'm not going to switch up any of my cards, but I will show you how how well anti-armor actually works. You don't need to have the best guns or anything like that. Just having those perks is absolutely insane. And the destroyer of the anti-armors. This is my railway. This is the heaviest hitting one. This is probably the heaviest hitting gun I have. And it just works amazing. This is my VATS gun. It always works in VATS with a faster fire rate on it. It does have a small ammo capacity, but I can look past that with the damage it does. So with that being said, let's get into the demonstrations. So I'm going to show you how the anti-armor pistol works first. If I can get a kill on these guys. But it also you'll see how well the armor tanks if this guy comes back. So keep your fingers crossed. Like there's one of them. Oh, there he is. Watch, we'll let him hit me with the legacy. Here we go. Here we go. Where's he at? Okay. Boom. That's what the signals effect and the perks I have, guys. Very tanky. Very tanky. And this pistol just tore through him. And again, I have no pistol perks with it. So, absolutely insane. Now, let's see how well the plasma gun works. Like he's hitting me again. Ooh, right there. Ooh, that one almost got me. Boom. And again... This is with the anti-armor perk, guys. Anti-armor just slays through things. Absolutely. Look. No chance. Now let's check out the railway. Ooh. Now, with the railway, I can definitely hit super hard with this. And again, I can go in vats with it. So, let's first, let's see if we can hit him. Oh, oh. Ah. Here we go. Y'all ready for this? 
Just like that. Oh, here. I'll get closer to you, buddy. Here. Alright. Again? I mean, he's not going to be able to do any damage to me. But, watch this. We'll get that head on me. Instant. It's, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. Oh, we're getting hit with the legacy again. We're getting hit with the legacy again. We're getting hit with the legacy again. Where's he at? Where's he at? Here we go. No chance, guys. No chance. That's absolutely insane. Now, I'm going to throw on my jetpack just so I can like fly around. But I'm still going to be getting a lot of damage resistance because he's using energy guns right now. And since I am using that heavy leather, I'm, I'm tanking it like no other, as you can tell. So... Let's see how well he does when he comes back. Oh, he's way up there. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Where's he at? Right there. Oh, one. But as you see, that even one, that one hitting. Boom, boom. Two shots. Two shots. Guys, that is the weapon showcase. And this is my PvP build. This is what I'm mainly running. So if you enjoy this type of Fallout 76 content and you want to see more, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and I shall see y'all in the next one. Peace.